Hey everybody, it's Dr. J, and today, yes, today, we are talking about elementary or fundamental reactions. So let's talk about some chemistry. Um, so, um, basically what you guys need to know is that these are simple reactions, okay? Um, and these simple reactions, we're going to call these two categories, all right, for these reaction steps. Um, you got unimolecular and then you have bimolecular, okay? So let's just quickly talk about both these types of reaction steps. All right, so let's talk about our two types of reaction steps. We have unimolecular and biomolecular. So let's start off with unimolecular reactions. We look here, right? Basically, what we need to know about unimolecular reactions is that this single molecule, all right, will do something to itself. So basically, it's going to self-react, and then it's going to be converted into another molecule or molecules, all right? So it can be converted to two, three, just depends, all right? So it is not dependent on a collision between two molecules. That's the key thing. So we look down here, right? We got this organometallic complex, right? To where we got our metal and ligands. And then, like I mentioned before, no collisions are involved here. So it's kind of... Uh, doing something on its own with itself. In this case, right, our ligand is breaking apart, all right? So our ligand comes off, and bam. Now we go from one whole molecule to two separate ones, right? With our metal and our ligands attached, but now we just have this one ligand or this carbonyl group off, okay? So this is how we're looking at, basically, unimolecular reactions. If we look at bimolecular reactions, okay, this is basically where... Our reaction is one in which two molecules are going to collide, right, together to form one whole new product. So if we look at this complex once again, and then it's going to combine, right, with another ligand over here, right? And once it combines with this step here, now we have one whole product here, all right? So that's how we have to think about it. Biomolecular, there's a collision taking place, and then we go from two to one. Unimolecular, we start off as one, then we separate out. Y'all see those spirit, spirit fingers? You see those? Yeah, but then we separate out, and now we got two. All right, so just one more thing about bimolecular reactions. Uh, so, for example, if we got A plus B gives me C, right? So that two going to one. Um... Here's a quick note. All, bi all bimolecular reactions are going to have second order kinetics. Okay, so because they're second order kinetics, all right, it's always going to look like this. Okay, so it's going to be second order kinetics, and we're not talking about set second order kinetics. I'm talking about the overall reaction. So if you have a bimolecular reaction, you're going to have your rate equals K, which are concentration of A to the first order, and then your concentration of B to the first order. So in this case, both of your reactants are first order, and therefore, for your total order of your reaction, one plus one is going to equal R2 here. So this is going to be our second order reaction. And this is always the case for bimolecular reactions. Okay, so that's a little hint there, a little hint there. The order on each reactant of the concentration, so that's a power thing, right? In this case, raises a one and one. Uh, we only been talking about 0, 1, and 2. Now, it is possible um, to have a fraction or a negative. We're not going to get in detail with that on this video here, um, but it is possible. It is possible just to let everybody know. And then once again, we don't want to relate our coefficients to the or, uh, to our orders, all right? We're not, we're not uh, relating those two.